Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and we are Monday, um, April 19th, 2021. And uh, finally, um, pretty much everybody with the Connexent HD audio drivers are now moving ahead. So um, I have a couple of friends that I actually had seen they had the HD audio drivers, and we were talking about it a few weeks ago because they didn't see the updates and, uh, well, all of them are actually being pushed to 20H2 now. So if you have the Connexon HD audio drivers, go to Windows Update and check it out. You might actually see something. So by going to uh, Windows Update by all settings, update and security, and checking for updates if you don't see anything, you will see a separate section. There might be some updates for you, but there's a separate section where you'll see... Uh, feature update to 20H2, a new version of Windows is available, and you'll see a download and install button, and that is where you click, and you will actually be moved on to 20H2 from 1909. All of you that were stuck on 1909, you should be moving ahead now. Um, there's no real word as to what they did, but possibly something in one of the updates is mitigating or just you know, making sure that that driver doesn't interfere or have any problems. So uh, it's kind of nice. And uh, that means that, uh, you know, the worry we had about people not moving on to the famous uh, next version uh, are, of course, uh, now going to be able to move on. So remember 1909, on that's, which is the no November 2019 update, is going to get its last patch Tuesday in May. So you could still wait a few weeks if you don't want to move there right now. But after patch Tuesday of next month, it'll be important to uh, click that download and install. A lot of people are being uh, updated without even clicking on it because 1909 is now getting end of support. So Microsoft is making sure that if you haven't applied it already, it's possible that during the next few weeks, you will actually be forced upgraded to 20H2. So that's a good thing. And as for everybody, uh, I see people saying, don't do it, don't do it. It's fine. 20H2 is very stable and very good. Uh, people that complain that it's not stable have issues on their PCs, and it's not Windows. Uh, Windows 10 20H2 is extremely stable. Even 21H1 that I'm testing right now, beta, is very good. Uh, but that's not available to uh, anyone except insiders. So that's the good news because we were worried. A lot of people were wondering why, you know, if I don't move on, what's going to happen? Well, um, you know, I had a hunch where I had heard that there, there was going to be something done uh, to be patient. And, and I guess they did uh, what they had to do because it actually now is officially working. So um, if you are on 1909, check out your Windows updates. You should see the new feature update to 20H2. Remember, from 1909 to 20H2, it's a long install because you have to go through the version 2004 first, which is a major update. So that will take quite a long time for a lot of people moving on from 1909 to 20H2. Very important to know. So the download and install phase will take a certain time. And remember, you can still use your PC when it's actually doing that install in the background it doesn't matter you can still do whatever you want to do it might slow down some of you a little bit but um, it, it should still work it's really the install phase where the computer restarts that you have you know don't have a lot of uh, you, there's nothing you can do while you wait for that so check it out it should be available for pretty much anybody with the hd audio drivers if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching